as, as one Africa and Swahili nation, uh, we have been reaching out to some people and we have been in touch with uh, people who are there right now on the ground and also finding a possible ways to help and to support our people to get out of that place right now. So that's basically the updates that I'll be giving to you guys right now. If you can, please share this link uh, with some other people so that they may come join us and I'll share a little bit. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. Um, yes, like I like guess say, it's good to see you as well. All right, um, le let me just go ahead and begin. If people join us later, then they'll see that. Uh, so today, just a couple minutes ago, I've had a, uh, a live stream on our YouTube channel, Swahili Nation. Uh, you guys can go and check it out after this uh, uh, podcast. And in that conversation, uh, in that live stream, I was having a conversation. First, I had a conversation with uh, an African who is in, uh, is a, I believe it's Sami, Sami region. Sami, Sami region, yeah, right now. That area is um, pretty much occupied, and he told me that there's a lot of number of Africans. Uh, according to what he told me, he told me that there's like close to 1,000. That's what he told me uh, in that region. And today they were trying to um, actually get away. Uh, they were trying to find another route to leave, and uh, they didn't make it because that place is closed. So they had to come back to where they are at. And they don't have access for food. They don't have access for anything. So it's basically, um, you know, they are in this one region and, you know, they're crying for help. And this guy was doing interview with uh, one of the media in back in Tanzania. And they couldn't finish the interview because he was he was crying. Uh, and I was fortunate uh, enough to have a conversation with him as well on YouTube. And he was just telling me the situation, how it is and how much they just want to leave and go home and how much they want support. And this region, and that was the first interview I had today in the same live stream. And then I had an interview with a Ukrainian girl who reached out to me through my Facebook. Apparently, um, you know, we were together in South Korea. Uh, so she reached out and she told me that, hey, Mika, I see, I've seen what you've been posting and I want to I wanna know if there's any way I can help. Uh, so uh, again, we had a conversation with her because she's she's in currently in German and trying to uh, reach out to different organizations uh, to tell them about our story and our people who are there and if they can help. So she gave me some contacts uh, with this, you know, one of the Chinese organization that has been supporting people and taking them away because, as you know, guys, China, China has definitely like taken all of its people away from. Um, Ukraine, uh, you know, India, we have seen that as well. But Africa is a big issue because Africa is not one country, right? Uh, we have like 54 different countries. So uh, countries like Kenya, I think, I believe, and Nigeria, um, I'm not sure about others, have been taking their people away. But um, still, as Africa, we need to come together and to take our people together collectively. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I believe that uh, this is not the time to you know to uh to to um to differentiate it's not the time to say that okay you're from this country i'm from this country but it's the time for us as africans to come together and to find a good solution for our people to be a good example because we cannot depend on the european union we cannot depend on the um united uh, organization or united nations we cannot depend on uh, the Chinese companies, even though I'm going to send these emails to them to find help, uh, but we cannot rely on that. It's a time for Africa to stand together, to stand for ourselves, and to support our people. Because if we don't stand for our people, then nobody will stand for our people. If we do not support our people, no one is going to support our people. This is the big challenge. You have seen, uh, you know, different Africans, what they're going through right now. Um, and in this conversation that I had on YouTube, I had to bring Ukrainian person because I really wanted to get authentic story, not just see the news and get what I want, but I wanted to talk to someone who is there right now in the Ukraine, share with us the stories of what they're going through, and also having a Ukrainian person to share with us uh, from her perspective and her side of her story. So uh, she shared that with us. You guys, you can go and watch that interview after this. It's on our YouTube, Sohila Nation. Please go and check that out. 
Yeah, uh, but what we can do as, as Africans, this is what we can do as one African Swahili nation. Uh, we, we're finding all these contacts, all these people, all these organizations that we believe they can help, and we're reaching out to them, regardless of where they're coming from, who they are. If it is Chinese, if it is whatever it is, we're reaching out to them. Because first and foremost, we want to make sure that our people are safe. They're in the places that are secure, safe, and they're not worrying about their lives. That's our first concern as one African Swahili nation. So, um, uh, we already wrote email. I'm going to send them soon after I finish this mm, as well. Different letters to different places because our people, they have to be our priority. But again, you cannot really blame if you have like European Union going there and take the, you know, European member, I mean, EU members away and giving them help they need. We cannot really blame it because we have our own African Union and they should be on the front line to go and to take our people there. You know what I'm saying? So, all this stuff that are happening, it, it, it's, it's something that has to remind us that our unity is our strength and has to remind that it's a time for Africans to come together to look at each other beyond our countries, beyond our nationalities, beyond our tribes, beyond our color, but just see each other as Africans that, and we need to save each other, all right? Because if we don't do that, then our people die. And if they don't have food, right, and they're gonna be in a in a in a in a, in a, in a big trouble. More than that, so um, you guys who are listening right now, uh, if you have any connections, don't hesitate to share with me uh, at oneafricaofficial at gmail dot com. We're gonna reach out to them as 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 a movement, as an organization. Um, we're gonna push. We're gonna write these emails. Uh, to them to make sure that something is happening uh, and trying to ask them for help because um, we have a um, specific number of people who are still there in the region and we're in touch with them. I'm in touch with them. So, uh, yeah, we can find help uh, to support our our people. Yeah, so that's basically I wanted to come here, guys, to update, uh, to give you an update of what's really going on with our people. Uh, honestly, it's so sad when you listen and you hear them. Um uh, as an African and just as a, as a human being, you know, as a human being, this is something that has to touch you. This is something that has to do something to you. Um, so there's uh, so many ways to help. Um, some of you all here, you can pray. You know, pray for this situation. Honestly, pray for this war to start because it's causing so many issues and uh, innocent people are dying. And as you can see, even Russian people as well, they are, uh, they are getting, they, they have a huge impact on the sanctions that, you know, they're getting. Um, so it's, and, and also Africa, you know, for a long time we have been talking about Africa to be independent, Africa to stand for ourselves, Africa to uh, to lead our economy by ourselves. But we're not doing that right now. And this war, I'm telling you, a lot of African countries will be in trouble because there's no more money, no more loans, all right, because our system, the system that it has been, we have been depending on them for so long. And that's what we're trying to say in one Africa and in Swahili nation that, hey, we need to have independent Africa because issues like this, when they happen, we have our own economy to run. But now this war is dragging down the economy. And I'm telling you, people who are going to suffer, the most countries that are going to suffer is Africa. It's Africa. And we're not even part of this. There are other people who, you know, they're part of this, but we are the ones who are going to suffer. So the best thing you can do right now, you know, is to pray for that. And if there's any way that you can help and support, you can always reach out to, um, you know, to us and suggest um, so that we may, you, you know, we may take, <laughs> we may take um, a initiative. Right now, I just see that more than, you know, um, you know, more than 400 people, um, civilians, these are normal people have been killed already. And this is only 13 days. Um, and more than 1.6 million people have been uh, been freeing away. Those are not, not just one people, but all kind of people, you know what I'm saying? Our people, including our people. And this is my business because our people are suffering. So, um, yeah, we need to find a solution to help them. And my call, my call to uh, African Union, my call to African Union, the African Union, please, let's do something for our people. Uh, our people are there, and I believe different countries are doing something, but uh, more than just speaking against racism that people are going through, but it's a time to actually uh, do something for our people. Just like we see European Union, how is stepping forward and to help and to support. Uh, I think African Union, we have to show our strength right now and to support our people. They really need our, pe our help. They really need our support. 
And, you know, that's the least we can do. They're our people. They're our people. We need to protect them. They need to be safe. We need to do everything we can to take them away. This should be Africa's concern. It should be Africa's concern. It should be Africa's concern. Every single one of you who are listening to me right now, this should be your concern. And one thing that I'm really trying so hard to tell my people, and some of you, you don't understand me, I keep saying that, guys, taking side at this moment is really dangerous. The only side that you can take right now, it's Africa's side. Because everybody is pulling to their sides. But the only way we can do right now is taking Africa's side, st speaking against, um, you know, the war. Because, you know, it's awful and it's killing a lot of people. And just praying that our people are safe. Some of them, they just went there for school to study, you know, but they're facing all this stuff that's happening right now. And they need our voice. So whatever you can do, if you can tweet, if you can share this link, um, you know, uh, whatever you do, whatever you can do, whatever you can do, guys, I'm asking you, please do something. Please do something. It's very important. <laughs> I see Satan has joined me. Satan, get out of here, man. I don't want to see you. <laughs> I don't have Satan on my space. How can somebody call himself Satan? Come on. You are the one that is causing this war. Get out of here, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Anyway, jokes aside, guys. Um... Yeah, if you haven't seen that interview, please go check it out. I had a conversation with people who are there and we're still in touch with them just to know closely to know what's going on. And as I'm saying right now, after this, I'm going to send the uh <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to send the I'm going to send the emails to these international organizations uh to see uh to talk about our people and if they can help. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> Man, Satan, you're actually re you're really dis distracting me right here. <laughs> oh man! All right, um, what what is in chaos because of you, man? Um, I <laughs> can't believe I have Satan in my space. But anyways, God is right here. So, Shindwa <laughs> naulege. Um, yeah, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let me see here. Yeah, so guys, for any ideas how you know you can support, how you can participate in this, um, please reach out to us um, at oneafricaofficial at gmail.com. Once again, oneafricaofficial at gmail.com. I'm in touch with people who are there right now, they're trapped, they don't have food, they don't have anything, but it's better to get them out of there. They can't move because they're afraid to die. If they move, anything can happen. Um, so, yeah. So, please, if there's any way we can do, let's let's come together and, you know, and do something. And for us, as one African Swahili nation, we're going to uh, send the emails, um, yeah, to this organization. I will actually go and do it right now. All right, guys, I appreciate it. I'll be coming back, you know, sometimes to share with you guys updates. Uh, but keep our people in prayer. And let's keep praying that this war will come to an end uh, because we deserve peace, man. And our people deserve peace, to live in peace. Yeah. Appreciate, guys. I love you. And accept you, Satan. Um, I'll see you guys later. Appreciate. <laughs> Satan, get out of here, man. <laughs>